What do I want in my life? Do you know where you're going? How do I want people to talk about me at my funeral? Who do I want to money? Who do, who do I want to marry? You can marry money if you want to. Today, we're going to be talking about how to turn your life around no matter where your life is right now. So your life could be incredible. It could be doing great. Your life could be terrible. It could be in the crapper or your life could just be average. We're going to talk about no matter where you are, how to turn it around to actually continue to keep going in the direction that you want to make better or to actually get in the direction that you want. And we're going to talk about more importantly than anything else, where you're going. But first off, before we dive into that, I want to, I want to let you know how crazy this world is that we live in. Like everything's amazing in this world, but people tend to miss it, right? We live in a world where everything happens right away. Like, if you want some, if I want any knowledge on anything that's ever existed in the entire world, I can literally just say, hey Siri, ask her and it'll automatically pop up, right? Like that's incredible. If we want a product to be at our house and not even leave the house, I can go on Amazon and it'll be here. If it's on Amazon Prime now, it could be here in the next two hours, right? If I don't want to drive or well, I don't want to buy a car, I can just have somebody pick me up and literally deliver my ass to some other place, right? If I want food, it can be delivered to my house. If I don't want to go grocery shopping, it can all be delivered to my house. We live in a world where almost everything is fully, completely instant gratification. I can get it when I want it. And we've been trained now because it's so simple and so easy to get everything right now that we think that everything should be right now our happiness, our success, the million dollars in our bank account. We think it all should be right now. But you have to realize that's not the way the world actually works. And it's not the way the world has worked for the majority of the time, the 3.5 billion years that the world has been here. Let me give you a quick example. If you wanted strawberries 100 years ago, let me just take you through the process of what it would cause, what you'd have to do to get strawberries 100 years ago. You'd have to go buy the seeds, hopefully, you live in the right part of, part of the world to be able to grow them, but you'd have to wait for the right time of year. Then you'd have to plant the seeds. You'd have to water them every single day. You'd have to make sure that the sun gets to them every single day. You'd have to take care of them for a few months. Then they would start to grow and then they would start to ripen. And then hopefully by the time they ripen, an animal doesn't come and eat them the night before they start to ripen and you don't get to them. But it could take, I want strawberries. I could have strawberries in six freaking months. Now I can literally sit on the couch on my phone and within two hours, some kid named Travis, who's a student at the local university, delivers them to my door. The only thing he doesn't do is feed them to me, right? Like it's like immediate. We can get anything that we want at any point in time. And if I want strawberries quicker, I can literally drive down and get them in five minutes from the grocery store. So we've been indoctrinated to believe that everything happens right away. We've been indoctrinated to believe that this world works through immediate gratification. It's like, I, I want it, I get it. 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 But so many things in life, the most important things in life are not immediate gratification. The most important things in life take time. What does this have to do with today and turning your life around? Well, today I'm going to be talking about the direction that you're going in. But more importantly, we're going to be talking about the speed that you're going at as well. And so many people get an idea for business or they get an idea for something. Let's just use business as an example. They get an incredible idea for business and they're like, oh my gosh, I would love to have a fitness business, for instance, right? So they're so excited. They make the business plan. They buy the yoga pants. They get the, all of the stuff that they need and they want to start this fitness business, whatever they're going to be doing in fitness. And then within three months, they've realized that their business is not doing a million dollars a month yet. And what do they do? They get down on themselves and they think, you know what? This might not have been the right thing for me. Not realizing that just like the strawberry seeds, it takes time. Growing a business takes time. You know, we hear about someone who starts an app and within six months they have a, a billion dollar net worth. And we think that's how business works, but it's not. That's like the very, very small outliers that somehow, somehow that happens, right? For 99.9% .9 of businesses, 99.99% of businesses, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't blow up. It takes time. It takes years of work and work and work. And so what I always tell people is don't plan for three months, plan for three to five years, because it'll take three to five years most of the time for your business to really be cranking, not to make money. You can make money. You can do pretty well. You can pay the bills within six to nine to 12 months most of the time. 
But as far as like driving a Lamborghini within the first three to six months, probably not going to happen. And if you think that, you know, you go on Instagram, you guys talking about, oh, hey, you can start a, you know, a, a Shopify account. I can make you millions of dollars. You can start a Walmart account. I can make you millions of dollars. You can start an Amazon account and make you millions of dollars. It doesn't happen that fast, right? I have friends that have super successful Shopify stores. Their first one didn't happen that fast. First million dollars didn't come within the first three months, right? I have friends that have really successful Amazon stores, 15 million of dollars in sales at least every single year didn't happen in the first three months. Everything takes time. So what I want you to realize in business, things are always going to take time. And one of the things that, that, that becomes more and more true for me every single time that I hear it and the longer that I'm in business and the longer that I'm working my business is Tony Robbins has a phrase that says, people underestimate what they can do in a decade, but they overestimate what they can do in a year. So most people think within this year, I'm gonna have a million dollar business doesn't really happen majority of the time like that. It takes time. But if you put five years into it, 10 years into it, 100% could be a million dollar business. The question is, do you have the patience and the work ethic to keep going for that long, even when maybe the results aren't exactly where you want them to be at this point, right? So you got to think about that. When I look back and, and you have to realize, most people within the first three months of starting the business, six months of starting the business, they're making mistakes. Like when I was in my first three, six, 12, 24 months, I was still making mistakes and still figuring out. Like my first, my, my business, the business that I had was doing in its first year, did it just under $80,000. So not bad. It was still pretty decent. I was able to pay my bills and keep the lights on and pay expenses and all the stuff that I needed to. But you know, it took years for it to get to the million dollar mark. It took three years actually for it to get to the million dollar mark. Right. And once it did, then it took six months and then it took three months and it continues to get shorter and shorter in time span. But it's only because I worked my ass off figuring things out, messing things up for three years that I was able to get it to that point. So you got to ask yourself, are you willing to invest the next three years, four years, five years to get this business up and running? Another great story I always think of is Andy Frisella, uh, who has podcasts. He runs a hundred million dollar a year business company. Now he does a hundred million dollars a year but he slept in his warehouse and barely broke even for the first two years, right? So people look at him and they go, oh my gosh, I want his life. I want his, his Lamborghini. I want his massive mansion. I want to make a hundred, I want to run a hundred million dollar year business as well. That's what I want. But are you willing to sleep on the floor in the warehouse, barely making it for the first two years in order to get there? That's what you really got to ask yourself. And a lot of times, most people are not. Most people are not ready to do that. So how bad do you actually want it? You have to realize it's going to take time. And it's just like anything though. It's not just business relationships. They take time to build a great relationship. Friendships take time, you know, to find to the, the, the work that you're doing on yourself, personal development. It takes time. People always think when they get into personal development, like, oh my gosh, within the next six months, I'm basically going to be fully enlightened. I'm going to basically be Jesus or Buddha within the next six months, right? <laughs> doesn't happen that way. And it probably won't happen for the rest of your life. And you've got to be okay with that. But it's the journey of just trying to get better every single time. That's what matters. And it brings it back to, to I mean, there's a childhood story that we all know. We were all told when we were children, the childhood story. And if we would start being more like this, then it would make sense. And it's the tortoise versus the hare, right? The tortoise versus the hare. Most people, especially with Instagram showing all of people flaunting their money and how successful they, they act like they are by renting Lamborghinis and renting planes and renting all of this stuff. They act like they're super successful and people think, oh my gosh, they did that in six months. I could do that in six months, right? Number one, most of the time it's a facade, just so you guys know. Uh, the, the richest people I know don't flaunt the money at all. Why? Because they don't want people to know they have money. Why? Because people like to get greedy. That's why. So. When you think of that, you think slow and steady wins the race. Okay, then all I have to do is decide where I want to go. I have to decide where I want to go and where I want to, where I want to be. And then I just don't stop. I just don't give up, right? The only time you fail at something is when you give up. That's it. So you have to decide, are you willing to invest the time it's going to take to get whatever it is that you want to be up and running? And if you do, then what we've got to talk about is this. Now that we've talked about the time, let's talk about the speed at which you're going, right? 
let's talk about the speed because sometimes the speed is, is more important than anything else. You know, the, uh, the, I'm sorry, let's talk about the direction that you're going. Sorry. So we've talked about the speed. Now let's talk about the direction. And it goes back to the phrase that the the direction that you're going is more important than the speed that you're traveling at right the direction that you're going is more important than the speed that you're traveling at so if you're looking and going okay i see my north star i see where i'm trying to go i've just got to continue to keep working that way every single day because if you're going the right think about this if you're going the right direction and you just don't stop you'll eventually be there it's simple but it's also profound if you're going the right direction and you just don't stop, you're eventually going to end up where you want to be. You might not be there as fast as you wish that you would be there, but things take time. So you've got to ask yourself, if we're talking about direction, do you know where you're going? Do you know? Do you know where you want your life to be? Do you know what you want your, where you want your life to be in 365 days? Do you know what you want your life to be in five years? Do you know where you want your life to be in 10 years? Have you sat down with a pen and paper and asked yourself, what do I want in my life? In all aspects of my life. What do I want in my bank account? What do I want in my relationships and my romantic relationship in my house? What do I want in my cars? What do I want in my, you know, my family life? What do I want in a relationship with my parents? Who do I want to be? What type of character do I want, right? How do I want people to talk about me at my funeral? Those are my character traits I want to develop. How much money do I want to make, right? Where do I want to live? Who do I want to money? Who do, who, who do I want to marry? You can marry money if you want to. Who do you want to marry though, right? Do you want to have kids? How many kids? When do you want to have them? What do you want, what do you want, what do you want your family to look like? Do you want to travel with them? What do you want your relationship to be, to be with your parents? Do you want to retire your parents? Do you know where you want to go? Because if you don't know where you want to go, you're never going to actually get there. Make sense? I always say, if you don't know where you're going, and you, you'll never actually hit that target. So it's a perfect example is if I were to take the number one archer in the world, person with a bow and arrow, and I were to say, hey, you're gonna line up with the archer, we're gonna see who's better. They're gonna beat you every single time. But if I were to blindfold them and then just randomly spin them around and they don't know what direction they're facing, you're gonna beat them. Why? Simply because you can see the target and they can't. So can you see the target of your life and where you're trying to go? Let me give you another example, right? Let's say that we're in Miami. You and I are gonna take a boat trip. People don't know that Miami is like 90 minutes or th three hours or something like that from, from the Bahamas. You can literally go from Miami or Fort Lauderdale directly over there and be there in a few hours, right? Take a boat over. So let's say that you and I decide, you know what, we're, let's go, we're in Miami, let's go to the Bahamas. Let's take a few hours, let's go over there. Wake up one morning, we hop on the boat with the captain, and we're like, Captain, where are we gonna be going? He's like, we're going to the Bahamas. And I'm like, cool, what's the plan? What, what direction are we gonna go? And he goes, um, we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna go probably in like that direction-ish. But we actually might go that direction instead. But we're gonna try to be in between these two areas. We're just gonna try to go that. We're just gonna go, go that way. And you go, how long are we going to go that way? And he's like, just as long as it takes. We'll, we'll probably get there sooner or later. Right? You'd be like, get off the boat. I'm not going to get on the boat. With, I'm not going to have this captain take me three hours into the middle of the freaking ocean. Probably end up in the Bermuda Triangle and disappear. I'm going to figure out a captain that knows, you know, if you get on the boat and the captain's like, oh yeah, we're going right there. Here's the coordinates. This is the GPS. You can actually see we'll be there in two hours and 45 minutes. You'd be like, perfect. I feel comfortable with this person, right? And it's a funny example, but that's how you're living your life. If you don't know what you're shooting for, you're just kind of, uh, let's, let's just hop in this boat and float and see whatever the hell happens. No direction. We're just going to see where the wind takes us and see where the tide takes us. It's a funny example, but how many people are just living their lives, just seeing what happens, right? They don't know what they want. They don't know where they want to go. They don't have a time frame of how they want to get there or when they want to get there, any of that stuff. And so they have no real direction. They have no real time frame, and they're not really even planning it. And so first off, you have to know where you're going. Okay, I'm going this direction. This is what my, my next year looks like. This is what my next five years looks like. This is what my next 10 years look like. I've developed a plan. I've found a North Star. I'm going to follow this North Star. And then what you need to do is you need to develop weekly and daily check-ins with yourself. I tell this to everybody, people who are in my business breakthrough course that learn how to, how to, how to grow their coaching businesses from me. 
teach them. You need to have a date with yourself every single Sunday. People who are in my mindset course, my accelerator course, uh, the Accelerator Academy, same thing. You need to have a date with yourself every single Sunday, just 30 minutes. Look at the next week and figure out what you need to do the next week. It's like getting on the boat and setting your GPS to go over there. If you're not, you're just kind of floating every single week and seeing what happens. So you make a plan you know, of what your next week is going to look like every single Sunday. And then you wake up every single morning and you have a real quick five minute check-in session before everything happens. Okay. Is this still set? Do I need to move this? Is this good? Do I need to do something better? Do I need to do something different? Do I need to shift? Do I need to move a little bit? And you, you figure out if your plan needs to change at all. And so you have a weekly check-in on Sunday, 30 minutes, real quick, not hard, but super important. And then daily check-in every single morning for five minutes to make sure you're going in the right direction. And realize along the way of building this business and building this life, you're going to mess up. And I promise you this, you're going to mess up a lot, like a lot, a lot. And that's okay. Messing up is not a failure. Failure is giving up, right? You're going to mess up. The, the guy who started Honda said that success is 99% failure. You just got to succeed that one time. That's all you really got to do. So you're going to mess up. It's not about being perfect. It's about getting more tally marks in the win category of your life than the loss category of your life, right? If you want to have a wake, want to wake up early and have a morning routine and develop a beautiful morning routine, perfect. Are you going to be perfect every single morning? You're not. So don't get down on yourself when you do happen to mess something up. Just realize, okay, I wouldn't say today was a win in the morning, but tomorrow I'm going to make sure that it is. I'm definitely not going to go two days in a row messing up my morning routine, right? And you develop a strategy to put you to the direction of what it is that you're trying to build. It's simple. It's not hard. You're just check in with yourself every single day, every single week, and you know exactly where you're going, but you have to be very aware that where you're going, you're probably not going to be there in the next three months, six months, a year. But in the next 10 years, if you don't stop and you just keep working and you realize that slow and steady wins the race, I promise you this, you'll look back in 10 years and be like, holy shit, I am so much further than I thought I was going to be. Because once again, as I said, Tony Robbins says, people overestimate what they can do in a year, but they underestimate what they can do in a decade. It's more important the direction that you're going than the speed that you're traveling at. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. There has never been a study that's been done like this. Some of them became drug addicts. Some of them became successful. Some of them became CEOs. And one person in the study even became the president of the United States. 